Ong ah, I don't know the English. My friend the translator. Ah, I have the first time to speak. If you are a Muslim Bible saint, then we are still a Muslim Bible saint. If you are a Muslim Bible s a i 还是你们 Muslim 还是我们 ？His question is: If Bible come first or Quran come first? If、um, Quran come first, then why there is a teaching of Christian? Why people don't follow、uh, Quran? If Quran come first, then why people don't follow the teaching of Quran? There is a question that which came first, the Bible or the Quran? If Quran come first, then why aren't people following the teachings of Quran? Or if Bible come first, they should follow Bible. Brother, what comes first is not important. What is correct is important. For example, if there's a book written, you know there are many books which we learn in medical college, in commerce, in engineering. Edition one, edition two, revised edition, ninth edition, tenth edition. Which will you follow? The first edition or the tenth edition? You will follow the latest. Anyway, latest is not always the correct. In Islam, I started my talk by quoting a verse of the Quran of Surah Isra, chapter 17, verse number 81: "Wakul jal hakmazak al batil in the batil kana zauka." Tell the truth has arrived and falsehood perish, for falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. So it is not what comes first should be followed; what is correct should be followed. Most of the time, what comes latest is the best, but not always correct. There may be certain things which are previous. Which came earlier, which may be correct. If you realize, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has sent several messengers on the face of the earth. By name, twenty-five are mentioned: Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad peace be upon them all. But all the messengers that came before were meant for a particular group of people, and their message was supposed to be followed for a particular time period. Since Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger, he was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs. He was sent for the whole of humanity. Allah also says in the Quran in Surah Raj, chapter thirteen, verse thirty-eight, that we have sent a revelation in every age. In every age, have we sent a revelation? But by name, only four are mentioned in the Quran: Torah, Zabur, Injil, and the Quran. Torah is the wahi, the revelation which was given to Moses, peace be upon him. Zabur is the wahi, the revelation which was given to David, peace be upon him. Injil is the wahi, the revelation given to Jesus, Christ, peace be upon him. And Quran is the last and final revelation given to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now, all the revelation that came before the Quran were meant to be followed by a particular group of people and for a particular time period. Injil was revealed only for the Bani Israel. And was meant to be followed until the last revelation came, the Quran. But what the Bible you have today is not completely the Word of God. All the revelation that came before the Quran, because they were time bound, Almighty God did not think it fit to preserve it. Today, the Bible that we have, according to the scholars of the Bible, they say that this is a mixture. It contains the Word of God. It contains the Word of Prophets. It even contains history. I'm sorry to say, it even contains pornography. It's a mixture. The complete Bible it contains contradiction. There are many scientific errors in the Bible, so you can't attribute all this to God. But whatever matches with the Quran, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that portion of the Bible to be the Word of God. Today, if we analyze. That's the reason Allah says in the Quran. Since Quran was the last and final revelation, all the previous revelation were only sent for those people. Like Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, the Quran says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter three, verse forty-nine, he was sent only for Bani Israel. If you read the Bible, the Bible says in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number ten, verse number five and six, he tells the apostles, "Go ye not into the way of the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? The non-Jews. Enter ye not into the city of the Samaritans, but rather go to the." House of the lost sheep of Israel. So Jesus Christ tells his apostles, only go to the Jews, don't go to non-Jews, don't go to Hindus, don't go to Muslim. Jesus Christ himself says in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number fifteen, verse number twenty-four, "I have not been sent, but to the house of the lost sheep of Israel." So Jesus Christ was only sent for the Jews, 
Musa alayhi salam, Moses peace be upon only sent for the Jews. But since Prophet Muhammad was the last and final messenger, he was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs. Allah says in Surah Anbiya chapter number 21, verse number 107, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةِ الْعَالَمِينَ That we have sent thee not but as a mercy to all the worlds, to all the creatures, to all the human beings. And the Quran, because it was the last and final revelation, all the other previous revelation was sent only for a particular group of people and for a particular time period. Quran, because it was the last and final revelation, it was not sent only for the Muslims or only for the Malay or only for the Arabs. It was sent for the whole humanity. Quran says in Surah Ibrahim chapter 14 verse number 1, Surah Ibrahim chapter 14 verse number 52, in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse number 185, and Surah Zumur chapter 39 verse 41, that the Quran was sent for the whole of humankind. And because it was the last and final revelation, Allah says in Surah Hijar, chapter number 15, verse number 9, that we have revealed the Quran and we shall guard it from corruption. So Quran is the only religious scripture on the face of the earth which is pure. All the other scriptures by the passage of time, they have got corrupted. And I proved this in my talk day for yesterday in Kwantan. Quran and modern science. If you apply the test of science, all the scriptures will fail except the Quran. Therefore, Quran is the only book which is authentic. And whatever Quran says, even the other scriptures, even after they have changed, the Bible, the other scriptures, yet there is remnants of the basic truth message that God is one, He has got no image, He has got no idol. And the last and final messenger in all the scripture, whether it be the Bible, whether the Buddhist scripture, Dhamma part, whether the Hindu scripture, Vedas, it says that the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So even what my thing is to all the human beings, I say at least agree that one book is 100% the word of God. So Christian would say, I wouldn't mind believing Bible to be the word of God. The Hindu would say, I wouldn't mind believing Veda to be the word of God. The Muslim will say, I wouldn't mind believing Quran to be the word of God. Then I tell, let us agree to follow what is common in all these scriptures. And when we do a comparative study, we come to know that all the religious scriptures say that there is one God. He has got no image, he has got no idol, he has got no parents, he has got no children. All these scriptures say, the Bible, the Vedas, the Dhammapad, the Parsi scriptures, that the last and final messenger is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So if we do a comparative study and follow the commonalities, we come to know that we have to believe in one God and the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hope that answers the question.